Hello there guys, it's Avid Expert here, and today I'm going to be talking about the latest leaks. These leaks come from Rely on Horror, and Rely on Horror is well known and established for being one of the more credible journalism websites for gaming information. Now they recently made an article claiming that they have an inside leak themselves, but there's more to the story here than just first meets the eye. So I'm going to be covering these leaks in a very interesting way. I'm not just going to be talking about all of the details discussed. Actually, that's going to be the very minor portion of the video. I'm going to be more discussing how these things work and the ethics behind them. So I hope you enjoy this video and look forward to it because this one's going to be taking the usual leak angle from a completely different perspective. So let's get right into it as always. Now the first thing I want to talk about specifically is where the leaks come from, because Rely on Horror says that they talk to somebody who claims they have an insider source, but for them to make an article about that is kind of interesting, I mean I'm sure lots of people go to rely on horror and tweet them random stuff and get ignored, so there must have been some level of validity shown behind that. I would assume they would have had to have shown information, screenshots or videos or something to give that additional credibility. But I believe rely on horror of course won't reveal or implicate such information because, well, that could give away who the leak is if it is true. But that's a good point to make because this gives extra credibility to it. Rely on Horror isn't really the type to just cover any random news. Now the second thing I want to say is it does seem like the leak came from a western source. This is anecdotal of course, but the wording used didn't really leave room for much error in judgement or implications, and when you're talking to foreigners, especially Japanese people, People where there could be severe implications just based on the tone difference or how the phonetic is toned in the same word which is really advanced you can get all sorts of different conclusions or words can be interpreted in different ways depending on the context and the user of course might not know the context the individual is talking about so it seems like a westerner did discuss all of this information because it seems like they've provided quite a large amount of satisfactory and well-written reveals. Now when talking about the specific information revealed, I was wondering, because as you all know or may know, I actually had an initial leak for Resident Evil 7 myself, now this was back in the day, and the reason that I got revealed the information and it was in a very specific way without spoiling any of the major plot, so you know everything that was interesting was still left there to be revealed by the players, however it did seem like a fan -so Service. That's what I was told. This individual who worked for Capcom was not exactly pleased about the fact that Capcom had decided to take such a secretive campaign with Resident Evil 7 and didn't want to reveal too much and were just repeating the same trailers but with different chronology. It wasn't like the trailers were new, it's just like the scenes had been switched up. So I thought considering the way the information was revealed about Remake 2, that meant that this was probably something similar, a fan service to kind of give the information away, to give everybody what they wanted, because of course a lot of people working at these companies just like you and I are actually passionate fans of the franchises they are working on. So it would make sense for them to share our perceptions and frustrations and share such information, but that's just one angle of looking at it. Do remember I have experience in this subject myself previously, like I said that's why I was given the information I was, and the person was absolutely fine with it being revealed because they themselves were actually kind of annoyed like everybody else that we knew so little about the story. And everybody who wants to know about spoilers, well that's a voluntary thing, you look at the title and you know whether to click it or not, that's your choice. So it seems like it's a win-win for absolutely everyone, I don't see anything morally wrong with that. The other angle is, and this is more into the Hollywood style tinfoil hat territory, is that somebody actually paid 
for this information. Now of course this is something I don't have any experience with. Unfortunately guys I am too poor to be buying leaks from things. We can't be having any Cyberpunk 2077 leaks. I can't afford it. But a lot of people do have access to that and that's not exactly something that's surprising. There are a lot of wealthy people out there and I'm sure many people who are fans of many franchises have seen people literally pour dozens of thousands of dollars into say shelves, couches, PCs, entire collections etc that are all customly branded with an entire room set up after their favourite franchise or even making the entire room look like one of the rooms from the environment in the area that they love the most. Now. This is one of the more interesting things because if somebody did pay for information, of course this is where it does start to get immoral I would consider it because at this point nobody's perceptions are being considered, it's just a raw business deal and the only reason that any of the information would be given or revealed would be purely for financial gain from both parties. Just remember that these ideas are speculation though guys, these kind of crazy things actually do happen in the world, surprise surprise, but the possibility of this being the case is probably lower than number one for example, which would be just somebody doing fan service. Now number three is actually the most implausible, but I'm starting to consider whether this would be a good tactic even to virally advertise it afterwards that this is what you did, but it's the fact that Capcom themselves might be the source. Now. That sounds like a completely crazy idea, but from what I got, nothing but good things were told about the game. It's gonna be the best looking Resident Evil game, for example. I mean, that's just kind of common sense. Anyway, the newest Resident Evil, like the newest, any game is the best looking game in the franchise, like in 99% of cases, but anyway. It just seemed like a very good positive PR stunt. So basically, it would be a very interesting thing if the lack of information was given so that they could give a leak to stir up hype and also give public attention to it and then boom at E3 they do some kind of reveal and yeah that would be interesting. I'd just say that turns out that was the case nobody will ever know but holy crap that'd be absolutely amazing and somebody should probably write a Hollywood movie about this or even just make a game about a game company doing this that sounds really Inception style and epic. Hey if anyone wants to hire me for writing I'm, I'm right here guys. Now the fourth one which is still actually more likely than the third and of course there's been many historical cases of this even entire companies like Netflix have been held hostage over it but a group of hackers or just one very skilled individual which is very unlikely probably a group may have gotten access to Capcom's core databases and actually got all of this information but the reason that I think that this one isn't the case is because if they did they probably would have revealed a lot more information than was given or they would have looked for some kind of financial gain in return. If you want me to put all of my money on which possibility it is, it's the fact that it's number one. Somebody in the company obviously thought that Capcom were doing something morally apprehensible by not advertising anything on such a big project over three years and they just want to get a little bit of information out there. The fact they did it for no financial gain means that it's even more morally acceptable because it doesn't seem like they've kind of bolstered from this unless they would paid for it which I very much doubt anyway because I don't think Rely on Horror is the type of people who are going to be paying for information like that. But yeah anyway guys that's uh that's my number one guess it was probably just a fan service done respectfully and morally but who knows. The truth is always something very interesting and difficult to find out in any given situation. So I did tell you guys we will be covering this from a very different perspective today and I hope you've appreciated the different angle. I'll leave a link to the article in the description as always though guys, so if you do want to go check out all of the reveals in more depth just go click below. I'll also leave a link to some more videos if 
you're interested in watching those and also you can follow me on Twitter or just subscribe to my channel if you already haven't if you're enjoying the content. I hope you're having a beautiful day as always, take it easy and peace.